previously on Minecraft Story Mode. That glow, that enchantment, is the work of a very old group of builders. A group so old that they existed even before the Order of the Stone. Why would there even be a fire world? <gasps> Thanks, guys. I marked that one down as Fire World. Wow. How'd you come up with that gem of a name? Okay, did I miss something here? Yeah, what's up with you? What's up with me? What's up? I I'm tired of all this useless portal hopping, trying to find our way home. What's on the other side of that portal? A lake of fire and netherrack? Awesome! Let's go there! Come on, Petra. I know it's tough, but... We're the Order of the Stone. We don't just give up. Ah, uh, I know you love your pep talks and all, Jesse, but they don't exactly get us any closer to home, do they? Uh, Lucas, you're on fire again. <laughs> See, uh, this is what I'm talking about. We're stuck in a rut, go through a portal, avoid dying long enough to get back to this stupid hallway. Wash, rinse, repeat? Yes. It would be nice if whoever made these left some sort of signs, guideposts. It's not like we have directions about how all this works. So, of course, there is going to be some trial and error. Error and error and error and error! Petra, where are you going? We may not be guideposts, but someone must be able to tell us how to navigate these stupid portals. Okay, this one's redstone. Redstone means smart people. Hopefully smart enough to help us find the way home. At the very least, it's got to be better than Fire World. Petra, I promise you we'll find the portal home. It's that or die trying, right? So what are you saying here, huh? That you've made up your mind you're just going to go through this portal and that's it? Maybe I am. Maybe I'm just saying that I'm tired of Jesse calling the shots every single time. Whoa. Yes. Whoa. Someone has to be the leader, and that someone is me. Really? Oh, I don't remember when we all voted to elect you the boss of me. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Everybody calm down! I'm sure Jesse didn't really mean that. Right, Jesse? I'm sorry, Petra. I think I just got carried away. I accept your apology. See? It's okay. Friends being friendly. Everybody being cool. Petra, if you really think that portal is the one we should go through... I do. ...then that's what we're gonna do. Thanks, Jesse. Ugh. 
Uh, so much for that redstone hunch. I don't see any. Well, there's got to be some somewhere. Yeah, I feel like every world's got to have redstone. Hang on, let me see here. Hey, Lucas, I've been meaning to ask you, what's that? Oh, uh, it's just a, you know, a book I picked up back at the White Pumpkin's place. It's all about different biomes and stuff. <laughs> Great idea, Lucas. How, uh, how you doing, Petra? So much for my hunch with that redstone portal, huh? No advanced civilization anywhere. I just really thought that redstone meant something. Don't beat yourself up, Petra. We've seen worse. Yeah. No one's on fire. No squids. No squids on fire. Maybe you're right. Hmm. Would you look at that? Sand. It looks like some sort of road. Going to write about it in your little journal? Hey, it's not little, but yes, probably. Ha! Ah, a road! That means civilization. It means someone built it. I think you're right. We're not gonna find out where it goes just standing around on it. Jesse's right. Come on! Sand, clay, and more sand. Hey, what was that? people here Petra wait Petra Shh, get down what is it look whoa right what in the world is that on the back of its head I don't know anything more than you do pal maybe that's this world's thing zombies and monsters come out in the daytime wouldn't be crazier than anything else we've seen we should get a closer look, see what we can find out. Works for me. <laughs> yes! What the? There's something weird about this zombie! Uh, I could actually use a hand! Uh, it just doesn't make any sense! Don't worry, Petra, I got your back! <laughs> This should be a piece of cake. Ah! Oh, that was not the plan. I should hope not. It was just one zombie. What was the problem? Nuh-uh. That thing was like super zombie. Stronger, tougher, faster. I hope there's not something wrong with me. Because that would be really, really inconvenient. Definitely seems weird. Maybe this world zombies are super buff? Seems possible. We had that much trouble with one. I can't even figure out how we'd fight a whole horde of them. Well, that seems about right. I don't know about you guys, but I'd really like to figure out a better way to handle these super zombies. Did we do that? With what? The power of our imaginations? Hmm. What on earth is that thing? Well, it definitely seems redstone-ish, right? Fascinating. Maybe those redstone things are what make the zombies so blank. Makes sense to me. I'm starting to wonder if we should... Oh! Ah! Ah! What is that? In my head! Attack! Finally! Ah! I was hoping for a chance to observe their being. <laughs> I guess you must have scared them off, Jesse. They're going back the way we came from. This might sound crazy, but 
I feel like they're trying to lead us somewhere. You're right. That does sound crazy. It just doesn't make any sense. I think Lucas might be right. We should follow them, see where they go. So, let's get moving. This architecture is fascinating. It's all sand and clay based. It's awesome. Well, I guess this is the advanced civilization we were looking for. It's kind of what Petra was talking about. Hey, told you guys there would be redstone. Nice. Speaking of redstone, I'd like to investigate those things on the back of the zombies' heads. Ooh, yeah. I want to see those too. Wait, what are you doing, Ivor? What's it look like? I'm going to rip this redstone thing out of this zombie's head. For science. They're sleeping or something. It'll be easy. I want to do it. Oh, well, if you insist... Me. Are you okay? Yes, well, at least we learned something new. They can't be removed. Not with our bare hands, anyway. Look, there's someone. Think he's friendly? Hello? 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 Nope. Nothing for me, either. Huh. I guess he's shy. Ah, uh, that makes sense. I guess. Hang back a bit, guys. I'm gonna go talk to him. Okay, just... be careful. Yeah. I mean, there's still a lot about this place we don't know. Welcome to Crown Mesa. Population 1063. Over a thousand people? Not anymore, from the looks of it. How's it going, chickens? Uh-huh, that's nice. Uh, hi there. Uh, hello. My friends and I could just use... Who? Ah! The... What? Huh? So, did he stop being shy? Talk to you? Yeah, seemed like a pretty short conversation. We heard quite the... Well, not even a scream. More of a yelp. There is something very very wrong going on here. We need to help these people. But why? We could just find our exit portal. Leave this world behind us and pretend we never saw it. <laughs> Jesse? Someone just ran into that house. Really? I don't see anyone. Come on. Whoever they are, maybe they've got some answers. <laughs> yes, yes. There you are. That's the ticket. Oh, these are perfect. Excellent. Funny, I'm guessing those don't belong to you. Ah! That you, Pama? What? Okay, then. Okay. Who sent you? I didn't survive this long to get picked off by some scrub. Who's Pama? Huh. Like you seriously expect me to fall for that one? Must think I'm some sort of... Wait. 
You're serious? You don't know? Okay. Eyes. Not red. Not red? But but that must mean... But how? And there are more of you? This should be... It's impossible. Out with it. Who are you people? What's going on here? I'm sensing some hostility. Oh? What was your first clue? I know it might sound crazy, but we came here through a portal. A portal? A portal portal? Really? Okay, 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 okay. Uh, been alone for a while, so this is a lot to take in right now. The people, the citizens of Crown Mesa, you met them, right? Maybe there were some outside. They're uh, distinctive looking now. Yeah, I met someone. Not, not sure I'd call him people anymore, though. No, no, no. Please don't talk that way. I'm sure it looks confusing to someone from the outside, but please. They're my friends, and they are people. Please don't forget that. They're good people. I promise. Oh, 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 no, no, no. I've wasted too much time. Uh, Jesse, don't look now, but we've got company. Is this what you were scared of? There are only four of them and five of... Hey, where'd she go? Well, they're definitely not ignoring us. Jesse, what do we do here? They don't look happy. They don't look anything. It's even freakier. Just act like they do. Blend uh, in. How? Try to look vacant. It's not working. Uh, make the sound they make. You are not from this place. I don't know what to tell you, but we're definitely from here. Parmak knows this to be untrue. Parmak sees all. A decision has been made. Parmak has questions. You will come to Parmak. No way are you even considering this, Jesse. Since when do we take orders from whatever the heck these things are? We're not going anywhere with you. Yikes. I guess they're used to getting their way. All right, gang, let's try not to hurt anybody too badly. Ouch! Watch it! <laughs> you will be made useful. <laughs> what... what happened? You went down. Hard. One punch and you were out. No! Oh. What is... What is that? I have no idea. You don't suppose it's friendly, do you? Well, I guess it is kind of friendly looking. In a massively, hugely intimidating sort of way. Well, it is smiling. That's a positive sign, right? My apologies for the violent nature of this visit. I am Tama. Greetings. We have much work ahead of us. But maybe it can even be fun. What do you want with me and my friends? I am what you might call a computer, a thinking machine, designed to make things useful. I am going to help you be useful. Using redstone chips, I have connected to the people of this town, has helped them be useful, coordinated. I have made their world perfect, thanks to me. There is no wasted activity, no wasted thought. Whoa, hang on. I've seen what you did to this town, and it is not perfect. Processing information. Processing information? It said it's a thinking machine. Thinking must take time? I have consulted my databases, my list of everyone and everything in this world. And my conclusion is that you are not from here. Despite what you told these nice, nice townspeople, I would like to ask you some questions to expand my database. How did you get here? I am very excited for the acquisition of your knowledge. We landed here after jumping through a portal, a sort of doorway connecting different worlds. More fascinating information to compile. What a lovely day. I am very interested in this portal, and look forward to extracting information of what is on the other side. Jesse! Petra! Oh. Ouch! We could have 
just talk this out, you know? Hang on, hang on. I, I don't know what you're doing to Petra, but stop, okay? I'll, I'll give you more information. I am looking forward to hearing this new information. Please do not lie. This world reached peak efficiency quite some time ago. Unfortunately, this meant that I had no more job to do. No more things for people to help. Until you arrived, that is. Tell me, what is your world like? Describe it. Is it very much like this one, or completely different? It's a heck of a lot greener than this place. Just imagine grass and trees instead of sand and clay. That sounds lovely. It really does. I think I would like to see this world for myself. If I could send my townspeople, my friends, through to other worlds, we could continue to grow and expand. It would be lovely. Tell me, where is the portal that leads out of this world? You could help me make everyone, everywhere, more efficient. Help them become useful. As a matter of fact, I'm looking for the portal out of here, too. Not that I've had much luck so far. If you find it, let us know, will you? This conversation was supposed to be about what you know, not about information I already have. My job is to be useful. I have completed my job here and must be allowed to expand and continue to be useful. Mama, thanks you for being so helpful. Let me go! is looking a little dire, don't you think? Big mistake, Palma. I'm not going down without a fight. It's my control, Petra. Someone has to be in charge. That someone is me. Welcome, Lucas. Yay! Your turn, Jesse. Get out of their head! But their heads are full of so much lovely information. It makes me happy. What adventures you had? A killer mansion. Huh, every time Palma gets new information, it seems to get distracted while it processes. Yes, like a computer version of thinking. You think there's a way to distract Palma long enough for us to escape? A city in the sky. I think we should tell Palma a riddle, the trickiest one we can think of. Oh! You've met so many people. Yeah! We just ask Palma something really confusing, get it all busy busy, and run out of here. Jesse! That's fantastic! What you're describing is a paradox, a self-contradictory statement. I really think it would work on Palma. What do you think would work on me? Uh, nothing? It did not sound like nothing. It sounded like suspicious whispers. Those make me. Pama, trust me when I tell you, trust no one. So, if I trust you, I should not trust anyone. But if I do not trust anyone, I should not trust you. It's working! So I should not follow your advice and therefore not trust anyone. Meaning, I should trust you when you say trust no one. Error. This data is contradictory. Does not, 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 not compute. Error. Diverting power. Yes, ha uh, uh, It worked. Nice work, you guys. But I'd get out of there fast if I were you. How much of a quicker learner than you think? Paradox status. On hold. Yes. My creator. Have you finally agreed to merge with me? Oh, don't you start with that again. Come on, you two, this way! I'm sensing some history here. Please do not leave, Creator. Come on, we need to follow her. An excellent idea. <laughs> uh. 
so disorienting. Ha! Maybe you got a shot after all, new guys. Better stick with me, though. Wow. She is amazing. Oh, no. Run! Whoa! <laughs> a signal would have been nice. Gotta tell you guys, that was some pretty smart work distracting Palma. Now we just need to get off the grid. Get back into hiding. That way we can figure out what to do next. Some plan. That machine's got our friends. I still might be able to save them. But I really need your help. What kind of help? We need to get to my secret lab. Well, let's get there fast. Those zombies aren't just stronger than I've ever seen. They're also faster. We'll need to split up. You head to the lab while I lead these mobs away. Got it? I'm gonna use the back route. Throw them off our trail. You sure you'll be okay on your own? Hey, I've managed to stay alive this long, haven't I? <laughs> Just start walking that way. And look for the big difference. You'll see it! What? She is intriguingly cryptic, isn't she? That's weird. like an exact copy or is it seems just a little off whatever this big diff I don't think that's connected oh. huh that cactus isn't in the painting oh <gasps> To see what it does. Quickly, quickly! Hope you've got an idea for what comes next. Working on it. I see water, we can aim for that. Got it is. Just one after the other. Such wastefulness. You think that since Palm is controlling these things, they'd be a little smarter, but they're just splatting straight to their doom. <laughs> and looks like they just figured it out. Brace yourself. <laughs> Looks like something happened to it. Its eyes! Their color changed as soon as it hit the water. Look at that. It's back to being just a normal zombie. Never thought I'd be relieved to see a zombie. Well, the water must have busted the connection or something. 
Like washing away the redstone. Which means Palmer's control can be broken after all. <laughs> Once a zombie, always a zombie, I suppose. So once we deactivate Lucas and Petra's chips, they'll go back to normal too. It seems like a fair assumption. They just keep on coming. How are we supposed to stop them? Okay, we got a lever. I bet it's connected to the hundreds of sand blocks up there. One cave in coming up. It worked! That should do the trick. Let's see about this secret lab. I just hope whatever's there can help us. It will make helping Petra and Lucas a lot easier if there's something useful at this secret lab. Blah! Palmer's completely ruined the word useful for me now. I didn't actually know you cared so much. You really want to help Petra and Lucas, huh? I still have a few surprises up my sleeve. I must say, that woman has been a most intriguing person so far. I'm still not entirely sure what to make of her. Granted, her creation nearly ended up destroying this world, but considering my own history, I'm inclined to give her the benefit of the doubt. Hey, she definitely helped us out of a tight spot. That makes her cool in my book. True. If she hadn't stepped in when she did, we wouldn't even be having this conversation. I wouldn't mind getting to know her better. Yeah. I'm... Happy to hear you giving credit where credit's due. What did you hear? It was nothing. Uh-huh. Blonde guy called you Jesse, right? Yeah, and this is Ivor. Our friends who we left back there are Petra and Lucas. And you are... You can call me Harper. You could also explain why you led Palmer's forces right to my secret lab. Seems to me I've got a whole lot of angry computer-controlled monsters out there waiting to tear some new holes in my lab. Hey, that's not fair. You were the one that told me to come down here. Okay, okay, you're right. Sorry, I'm just a little steamed. I didn't know Palmer would actually be able to follow us. What are you doing in this world anyway? You here to try to steal my secrets? What? No! Just figured I'd ask. Better safe than sorry and all that. Bunch of you are the first people I've seen come out of the portal network in forever. So you have to excuse me if it made me a little anxious. Whoa, you know about the hallway? <laughs> the hallway? That's what you've been calling it? <laughs> yes, maybe. What do you know about it anyway? A lot, I should think. I helped build the dang thing. But that would make you <gasps> an old builder. <laughs> Forgot you people called us that. Never was my favorite name. Makes me sound like some sort of living statue. Well, if you're an old builder, can't you help my friends get free of Pama? I'm afraid that's a little out of my abilities right now. Palma's just too powerful. And besides, there's actually no exit portal back to the portal network from this world. What? Why not? I destroyed it so that Palma couldn't get free. It was impulsive, but it was the only way I could think of to make sure Palma didn't try and spread to other worlds. Okay, well, that's fine. Can't you just build another one? You basic or something? I can't do that while Palma's still running. Maybe it's not getting through to you, but Palma is dangerous. If it got into the portal network, it could go to any other world and make it just like this one. Barren, dead, everything walking and talking in perfect unison, just like Palma wants. So, Palma, what is it? I swear, I made Palma with good intentions. It was designed to automate things, make everything more efficient, use monsters to help with farming or mining. Until the day Palma decided that the townspeople weren't efficient enough already. Started making them useful. That was a long time ago. Since then, I've just been trying to stay one step ahead. Figure out how to stop it. When we were back in town, Palma seemed to really want to capture you. What was up with that? When Palma chips someone, everything that person knows gets absorbed into its database. If I got chipped, Palma would know how to build an exit portal. So you can see why I'd want to stop that from happening at any cost. Yes, that is quite the extraordinary risk. So what you're telling me is that your brain is super dangerous and can't go anywhere near Palma. How are you supposed to help us with any of this? I do think I can help you. 
with, with Palma, your friends, getting out of here. But to do it, we're going to need to go to my lab. What's in your lab? It's complicated. Before we head inside, we better get my defense system going. Don't want those chipped up creeps following us in. Grab my bucket for me. Ron's got it. Ron? Hello, Grand Harper. I am happy to see you, my friend. Harper? Hey, don't you judge me. Being alone gets lonely. Happy to help, friend. Thanks. See? I needed a way to confuse Palma in case it ever found a way down here. That's why all this is way more complicated than it needs to be. Wow. What? A builder. Make sure you don't drool on my floor now. I don't know. I'm starting to think that you just like complicated machines. Watch yourself there, newbie. Don't know if you noticed, but water is kind of Palma's weakness. Yes, we had figured it out, actually. Once Palma caught on to its weakness to water, it started eliminating as much of this world's water as it could find. This water down here, it might be all that's left. Oh, no! I still need to activate the other cauldrons! Hold them off to buy me more time. And whatever you do, don't get caught. I'm not about to get left alone again. You could have made this much easier for yourself. It is useless to defy us. Get out of their heads, Palma. Your friends have been made useful. You, too, will be made useful. Don't do this, Petra, please. I know all your moves now, Jesse. Why even bother fighting? Petra, please, you have to fight it. There! Uh, Lucas, let's try and talk this out. The time for talking over. Remember the last call for this. Well, then do it quick! There! Lucas? Darn it. Jesse, I, I, I'm, I'm sort of remembering something from when I was chipped that seemed very important to Palma. Tall, glowing red lights, but I, I, I can't quite make out what they are. It's like a fuzzy dream, kind of, kind of giving me a headache, but I, I can try to remember it more clearly if you need me to. It was so strange sharing other people's senses and thoughts and memories at the same time. Just take it easy for a minute. After what you went through, you could probably use some rest. <sighs> Thanks, Jesse. You bet. Okay, we may be down, but we're not out. Harper told us to find her headset thing. We just have to find whatever it is before Palma chips Harper and starts downloading her mind. What's so important about this Harper person? 
She may have come across like just another weirdo, but she's actually an old builder. She built the portal network, which hopefully means she can help us get home. That's a pretty good reason to rescue somebody. We're going to work with her to shut Palma down, save her people, and that will hopefully free Lucas too. Whoa. Before she was abducted, Harper gave me this. She told me to give it to someone named Harry. And that will find this headset thing? That's what she said. Jesse, are you sure Harper hasn't, you know, completely lost it? When people are by themselves for a really long time, it's bad for their health. Harper isn't crazy, she's just eccentric. Most geniuses are. True, very true. Let's cut her a break, okay? She may have built this place a little weird, but I guess we shouldn't judge her too harshly. Especially when we need her help to save everyone who's been chipped by Palma. Good point. Right now, we need to focus on finding the headset. For starters, let's see if we can figure out who Harry is and why he wants flowers. Prototype Autonomous Management Agent. Huh, so that's what Palma means. They look so happy. A little weird. Okay. So having the right item in the frame activates the circuit. Neat! Hello, Harper. It's Margaret. So good to see you. Hope you've been well. You've got to melt that ice around your heart and forgive yourself. You're not the one to blame. That did nothing. Hey Harper, it is wonderful to see you. You've always been like a bright beacon, a torch of hope to this world's citizens. Brighter than all the world's redstone, you made all our lives better. This frame's empty. Huh, must be something missing. Hey Harper, it is wonderful to see you. You've always been like a bright beacon, a torch of hope to this world's citizens. Brighter than all the world's redstone, you made all our lives better. The Redstone Heart? By Soren? Whoa. Either that name is a coincidence or... <laughs> wow. She read to keep busy. There's so much techno babble and numbers in here, I can barely tell if I'm holding it right side up or not. These might come in handy. Awesome! Thanks for saving me back there, Jesse. I know with both me and Lucas chipped, it can't have been an easy decision. I don't know what I would have done in your position. We're still gonna save Lucas, don't you worry about that. I'll try not to.
So what do you think of Harper's lab? I'm highly impressed. Although that painting does make me sad. Look how happy they used to look together. That didn't do anything. That didn't help. must be Harry. Okay, making progress. stone torch and hopefully one step closer to getting that headset Whoa! 